Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class from the second to the fifth elementary grade. Our textbook is uh, Weekend 2 and today, inshallah, we will cover Unit 3, Wild Animals, where we're going to evaluate and review the whole unit. This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazana Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al-Agil, so let's begin. So the first lesson we had in uh, Unit 3, Wild Animals, was talk time on pages 18 and 19. And our goals were in this lesson is to tell the names of some wild animals and to write the names of wild animals and also to talk about animals. Where in this uh, unit we started by listening to a conversation between a brother and his sister when they went to the zoo. And in the zoo, they started talking about animals, where the sister pointed to the uh, animal and she says, look, it's a baby monkey. Look, it's a baby monkey. And her brother described monkeys as, monkeys are cute. Monkeys are cute. So the brother pointed to this monkey and he says, monkey are cute. Cute is something good. The brother likes monkeys. So this is why he says, monkeys are cute. Also, they talked about another animal where the brother pointed to an elephant. He says, look, it's an elephant. Look, it's an elephant. And the sister says, elephants are big elephants are big so she describes elephant as big she describes elephant as big and also uh, uh, his sister uh, asked about the lion where is the lion and we learned in that lesson how to talk about distance when something is very close we said it's here it's here and when, it, when there is something is very far, we would say, it's over there, it's over there. So in this lesson we learn that if something is close, we say, it's here. It's close, it's here. But when something is very far, we would say, it's over there, it's over there. So these are the animals that we did learn about in the first lesson the lion, elephant, and also baby monkey, and also the last one here, which is the snake. And also, I ask you to practice these talks if you uh, went to the zoo, or if you uh, can talk about animals between you and your uh, family member or your partner, just to talk about animals and describe animals. And also, you can act out these animals. And don't forget, while you are acting, this uh, big four which is to smile and to use the gestures and to speak in loud voice and to maintain a good eye contact and also we did play a game that is called find the animal where what we did in this game is to listen to the teacher uh, talking about any animal and what you do is to look for the animal in these pictures and once you found the animal then you would say or you would choose uh, the letter. So just a quick reminder, when I ask, where is the lion? Where is the lion? And what would you, uh, what would you do is that to look, look for the lion, and once you found it, you would say, it's picture A, or it's A. Also, we ask about the zebra. Where is the zebra? It's picture F. And also, after this, we did move on to the next lesson, which is Rhythms and Sound, on pages 20 and 21. And in this lesson, our goals were is to sort letters according to their sound and also to name the body parts of the animals and to chant the animal chant. So what we did here in this uh, lesson is that we listened to a chant about different animals. Now, just a quick reminder of this chant. I'm going to read this chant again 
I would like you to listen and try to repeat after me. So number one, chant in mind. I will catch a monkey by the toes, by the toes. I will catch a monkey by the toes. A monkey by the toes. So here in the, this first part, we did talk about an animal and also the body part of this animal. The second part of this lesson, of this chant, I will catch a tiger by the tail, by the tail. I will catch a tiger by the tail. A tiger by the tail. I will catch a bear by the nose, by the nose. I will catch a bear by the nose. A bear by the nose. So after we did listen to this chant, we did identify a different uh, uh, animal body parts. The first one was the elephant trunk. The first was the elephant trunk, as we can see here. This is the elephant trunk. And also the bear nose. The bear nose. This one here is the bear nose. Also, we did learn about the monkey toes. These are the monkey toes. And also the tiger tail and the snake head. So we, not only we did learn about animals, but also we got to know what do we call the body part of each of animal. So we learn now uh, what is the trunk for an elephant and what is the nose for a bear and also toes for a monkey and tail for a tiger and the snake head. And after this, we did listen and match in this uh, exercise sounds and letters where we have uh, two different sounds. First, the words that uh, has a sound with one uh, uh, O letter and also words that has uh, O letter and E letter at the end. And what we did is that after we listen, we did match each of these uh, words with uh, the appropriate picture. So, for example, the first one, the octopus, this is what do you mean, which is a sea animal. The next one was fox, this animal, and rose, this plant, and finally rope. And we did uh, repeat it, this uh, sound over and over again. So, just can we know how to pronounce each word uh, alone? And also after this, we did play an interesting game where we did listen to different animal sounds. And I ask you to guess what that animal is. So we did listen and we, uh, to these sounds and we start the question by, what animal is this? So after this, we listen to a sound and then you can guess what this animal is. And when you got the right answer, then I, you will hear from me, that's right. And I ask you, I encourage you to uh, play this game even with uh, people who are uh, next to you or a classmate. And also, we did listen to uh, many voices or many sounds of different animals. Like, for example, sound of a horse, voice of a horse, and also for a monkey and also for an elephant. And I ask you to just try to play this game with a partner or family member and just ask him this question. And once they hear the sound, then you would say whether if it's true, you would say that's right. And after this, we went to the third lesson in this unit, which is words on pages 22 and 23. And our goals were in this lesson is to describe animals and to write the words correctly and to classify a variety of animals and their habitats, which means the place they live. So what we did is that we talk about different animals and we talk about two things. We describe them by using two things. For example, with elephants, we said that they are big and they have trunks. Two things. They are big and they have trunks. Also, we describe uh, another animal, which is the zebras. We say that they are black and white, and also they have stripes. They are black and white, and 
also they have stripes. So we learn how to describe each animal by using two phrases. Also with uh, uh, crocodiles we said that they are scary and they have big teeth. They are scary and they have big teeth. Also with monkeys or with chimpanzees we said that they are smart and they have long arms. They are smart and they have long arms. And also with snakes we said that they are long, they are long and also they have no arms or legs. They are long and they have no arms or legs. And also with hippos we said that they are fat and they have big mouths. They are fat and they have big mouths. So also after we did this, after we described these animals, we did put all of these sentences uh, in a list and I ask you to listen to me while reading these sentences and repeat after me. So let's do it now one more time just to remind ourselves and to remember these descriptions. So a quick reminder of uh, the, uh, the uh, animals and their descriptions. So I'm going to read the animal with their descriptions. Number one, elephants. Say with me, elephants. Elephants are big and have trunks. Elephants are big and have trunks. Number two, zebras. Zebras are black and white and have stripes. Zebras are black and white and have stripes. Number three, crocodiles. Crocodiles are scary and have big teeth. Crocodiles are scary and have big teeth. Number four, chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are smart and have long arms. Chimpanzees are smart and have long arms. Number five, snakes. Snakes are long and have no arms or legs. Snakes are long and have no arms or legs. Number six, hippos. Hippos are fat and have big mouths. Hippos are fat and have big mouths. So uh, this is what we did and also we did learn a new game which is that uh, when you listen to two hints, two descriptions about animal and then what you have to do is to guess what that animal is. For example, when I uh, say this, they are big and they have trunks. What kind of animals that are big and they have trunks? Then you would think of uh, the animal and you would say, for example, elephant. And also I encouraged you to play this game with uh, uh, your classmate or with your friends, uh, uh, which is when you mention, when you name two hints or two descriptions and then they would guess what that animal is. We did this with hippos, with elephants, crocodiles. And at the end also the la final lesson was about phonics on pages 24 and 25. And our goals were in this uh, lesson is to comprehend the sound represented by the letters of the alphabet, pronounce the final S correctly, and spell some words correctly. In the phonics lesson, what we did is that we learned how to pronounce words that has only one U, as uh, the word top, and also how to pronounce words that has U and E at the end, as the word tube. And what we did is that after we listen, to these phrases, then we did match them with the sound or the appropriate sound. So, for example, when we listen to the word top, 
we listen to the word cup, we uh, match it to the same sound. And when we listen to the word tube and we listen to the word cube, we match it with the same sound. And we did this with the rest of these uh, sounds. And after this, we learn uh, about uh, the words that has double O. And we said that we have short O and we have long O. Short O as the words in uh, blue, like, for example, book, foot, cook. And long O as the words that are written in red, uh, such as food, boot, moon. And we said that sometimes we even write the same letters as we can see here, but we pronounce them differently. We have long version and we have short version. And after this, after we listen, we did match each word with uh, its uh, picture, as what we did here. And also, we did uh, another exercise with words that ends with S letter, and we learn how to spell them and how to pronounce them correctly. We said that sometimes words that ends with S pronounced as Z sound, like the word arms. And we said that sometimes we have words ends with S pronounced as S sound, like the word trunks. And also number three, we have words that ends with S pronounced as S sound, like the word noses. So after uh, recognizing these sounds, what we did is we listened to six different sounds and we did match them, each one with their sounds. For example, hippos uh, goes with the, uh, the first sound, crocodiles with the first sound, snakes, elephants with the second sound, dresses, faces goes with the third sound. And finally, what we did is that we say words that ends with these letters. O, O, U, E, A, U, U, E, and double O. And we said that imagine you're playing a game and you put these letters in front of your partner. And what would you, uh, would you do is to mention one letter or two letters and then your partner will come up with a word. Like for example, O, E, we can say rose or robe and with o we can say hot and with ea we can uh, uh, we can say meat and with u we can say bus with ue we can say tube and with oo we can say boot so these are examples on how to play this game where you mention a letter and then your partner will come up with words. So this is what we mostly cover on uh, unit uh, wild animals. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.